In this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet this lotus flower lace, a pattern by Nancy Flinting. So to begin round one, we will start off with a slip knot. Okay. We will insert our hook and chain seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we will do a slip stitch into the first chain right here of chain seven, just like that. Okay, now we have our loop here. We will do, we will chain three, one, two, three, and we will do 13 double crochets into this loop. Okay, at the same time I will begin to stitch in this uh, tail here just so that it doesn't become undone. So I'll insert my hook, make sure my tail is just lying on the on my hook here. Pull the loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. so at about six or seven, you can just cut off the tail here. It should be secure by now. Okay. And just continue making your double crochets. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen, okay? There. So you should have something that looks like this. So you should have a total of fourteen double crochets, including this chain three here, which acts as a double crochet. So fourteen in this hole, okay? So now we are on round two. So for round two, we will turn our work and we will chain four. One, two, three, four. Okay. We will do a double crochet into the next stitch right here. So not this stitch here, into this next one right here. We will do a double crochet. Okay. Right here. Just insert your hook. Yarn over through two, pull through two. Okay, then we will chain one. This chain four right here acts as a double crochet plus chain one. So we will continue this pattern all the way around till we get to the end here, which is double crochet in the next stitch, chain one. Okay, double crochet, chain one in each of these stitches. Okay. Crochet chain one. Crochet chain one. Okay. Crochet chain one. Chain one. Okay, so here we are on the last double crochet here. Oops. We will enter in a double crochet, chain one. And here we are on our chain three. We will do a double crochet in the third chain of chain three, so at the top right here. Insert your hook and do a double crochet like that. Now we are on round three. So for round three, we will turn our work and we will chain three. One, two, three. So now we will double crochet in this chain one space right here. Okay, this one, the first one. So yarn over, insert your hook and complete a double crochet like that. Now we will chain three. One, two, three. Okay. And we will do six double crochets in this space right here. Yarn over, insert your hook into this space that we just made and complete six double crochets. One, two, 
three, four, five, and six. Okay. So you should have six double crochets plus this chain three right here for a total of seven double crochets in this space. Okay. What we will do is that we will count now. So this first space right here, the one we did our uh, first double crochet, it's one, two, three. Okay. So this third one right here, one, two, three. We will do a slip stitch. Okay, like that, and we will chain three. One, two, three. Okay, now we will do a double crochet in the same space that we did our slip stitch in. So yarn over, insert our hook, and complete a double crochet. And we will chain three. One, two, three. And just like we did here, in this new space that we created, we will do six double crochets. Okay, so there we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so we have six double crochets plus this chain three for a total of seven double crochets in this new chain space that we created. So now that we finished our second one of these, we will count one, two, three. This is our uh, space that we did our slip stitch in. We will count this as one, two, three. And the third one here, we will do a slip stitch. Okay, like that, and we will chain three. Okay, we will repeat this process to create these. Okay, um, for a total of five. So we've done one, two. We are currently on three. We have to do four and five. So once you have completed five, I will meet you back here where we will continue on the next step. So here we are. We've completed our five uh, top shells right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you should have about four uh, spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay, five including the one you have your slip stitch in. What we will do is that we will slip stitch into the third space. So one, two, three. Okay, leaving two spaces here. We will do a slip stitch in the third right here, like that. One, two, three. Okay. Now we will chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will slip stitch into the third chain of chain four. Okay, so one, two, three into the third chain of chain four. There we will do a slip stitch like that. Now we will turn our work and begin the next round. So for the next round, we will chain three. One, two, three. Okay. And we will do 13 double crochets in here. Okay. So just how we did um, our double crochets in here, we will d repeat this step in here now. Okay, so 13 double crochets in this uh, space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, thirteen double crochets in this space plus your chain three right here for a total of 14 double crochets in this space. So what we will do now in this next shell that we created previously, in this beginning chain three here, right? So here 
we created our chain 3, we created the shell, okay, and this chain 3 at the, at the end here, we will do a slip stitch in the third chain of chain 3. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now we will turn our work and chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and this chain 4 acts as a double crochet plus chain 1. And just how we did in this round here, we will do the same here. So we will do a double crochet in the next space and chain 1. So we will skip this first one right here, this first one right here that connects this chain 4 all the way here. This first one we will skip. We will work into the second one here and begin our double crochet. Okay, plus chain 1. Okay, and we will work in every stitch following a double crochet plus chain 1. Chain 1 and double crochet plus chain 1. Okay, we will continue this all the way to the end and I will meet you here. Okay, so here we are at the end here. You should have 13 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the last one here, which we will do on top of this chain 3, will be 13. So on the third chain of chain 3, 1, 2, 3, at the top here, a double crochet. That. Now you should have 13 double crochets plus this chain 4 right here. Okay? So for the next round, we will turn our work. We will chain three, one, two, three, and we will do a double crochet into this first space right here. Okay, so yarn over and complete a double crochet. That. We will chain three, one, two, three. So see here, we have this space here again, just like the ones we had here. Okay, so we will do the same process we will do six double crochets in these spaces here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, oops. and six okay so now just as we did before we will this is the first space okay with our double crochet in it second the third space in the third space we will do a slip stitch like that and we will chain three okay. one two three okay and we will repeat the process to create a total of five of these outer shells. Okay, so we will do a double crochet in the same space as we did our slip stitch. We will chain three. We will enter six double crochets in this space. Okay, so here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Okay. Okay. Six double crochets plus this chain three here makes seven. Okay. Again, we will count. This is the space that we did our slip stitch. We will count three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. We will do a slip stitch and chain three. Okay. So I will meet you once you have completed five of these. So here we are. We've completed five outer shells. And what we will do next is repeat this pattern until you receive your desired length. So to summarize this pattern once more, at this point here, after we've completed our five shells, 
we will count three spaces starting with the space that we did our slip stitch in and we will slip stitch into the third space okay so count three spaces one two three and we will do a slip stitch okay so that's step one step two is that we will chain seven one two three four five six seven okay and we will slip stitch into the third chain of chain four and that would be step three so here's our chain four the third chain one two three okay we'll do a slip stitch and we will turn now for step four we will chain three one two three and we will do 13 double crochets in this chain seven space one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay now for step six we will slip stitch into the third chain of chain three okay so here's this shell here we will slip stitch into the third chain of chain three. So chain three is over here. The third chain, one, two, three. Okay. We will do a slip stitch. Now we will turn. Now for step seven, we will chain four. One, two, three, four. And for step eight, we will skip the first double crochet, which is this right here. We will skip that one and we will do a double crochet into the next double crochet and chain one so we'll skip this first one here's the next one okay to the stitch we will do a double crochet so yarn over search your hook and we will chain one and now we will do a double crochet for each of the next stitches all the way across okay so we will do, do a total of 13 double crochets in chain one with the last double crochet into the third chain of chain three at the end here so now that we've completed our last double crochet into the third chain of chain three at the end here for step nine we will turn and we will do chain three one two three okay and we will do a double crochet into the first chain one space so here's our first chain one space we will do a double crochet okay that was uh, step 10 so for step 11 we will chain three okay and we will do six double crochets in this new chains in this new space here okay for step 12 like this now for step 13 we will count three spaces starting with the space we did the double crochet so here's the space we did the double crochet in one two three okay and in the third space do a slip stitch and chain three one two three okay now for step 14 we will double crochet into the same space as we did the slip stitch okay so right here 
And step 15, we will chain three. Step 16, we will do six double crochets into this space right here. Now for step 17, we'll, we will count three spaces, starting with the space we did the slip stitch in. Here's the space we did the slip sti stitch in. We will count three spaces. One, two, three. Okay. And we will do a slip stitch and chain three. One, two, three. Okay. Now for step 18 and beyond, we will create a total of five outer shells, just like how we did over here. Okay, we've created two so far, and we will repeat back at step one and continue making our motifs. So here we are, we have created three motifs of this lace. Our lace is a two-sided lace. It has the same look on both sides. You can continue this pattern until you've reached your desired length. So once you've reached your desired length and you've created your five outer shells, you can begin to fasten off. Okay, and to do that, you can count the third space. So the first space here has our slip stitch, the second of the third space. You can do a slip stitch in there and complete the project. Or the other option would be to do a slip stitch in this third space again and complete one more shell and finish off at the end here. The option is up to you. But anyways, that is the pattern, and thanks for watching. Please check out my other crochet videos on my channel, and subscribe for more free crochet tutorials and patterns.